Great Britain on episode 28 Eagles Street, it's 24th of September 2020. We're here to document the damage that's accumulated from three and a half years of neglect from New South Wales outing to the point where they, they officially told me they received no uh, warning about this, even though I have proof that I reported it. So here we go. We can start with the ground shifting, as you can see. There is many little holes and seekage happening. Uh, the, all the concrete is snapping on the fence line. The fence line, as you can see, is shifted. Uh, this follows the entire fence line. And as you can see, it's moving out onto the road. Those cracks weren't there six months ago. We've been told that it's drainage. Drainage is the issue, but housing has not fixed it in three and a half years when it was first reported in February 2017. Here's a gutter cracked and raised. The sinkage there. The uh, driveway has come up. Shh. All right. The driveway is actually warped, which you can't uh, you can kind of tell with the car there, but it's actually on an angle. Oh, wait, we forgot something. We also have our roof, as you can see, on each corner of the gutter. It's been ripped up, which makes it impossible to keep heat in. All right. Okay, we'll continue on. As you can see, the ground seepage has gotten to the point where we can fit our hands underneath the concrete. The ground, as you can see, the fins are on an angle. We have multiple cracks. The chair, the cracks. We have all this that's been cracked. In a... We have all this. The actual ground is shifted out of the foundation, as you can see here. And it's raised up, it's sunk by a good two inches there. There's the moss where it's sunk. This goes around all over the house. More damage here, as you can see. This was where our sinkhole was. It's since been filled with bitumen. That was cordoned off by the SES. This was cordoned off as well by the SES, but since we had to come in and get our stuff, we had to break in literally. Okay. Coming to the side of the house, as you can see, the NBN box is popped off. There's the cat. See the damage to the stirrups? You can see it's actually come off there and it's starting to twist. The cracks on the ground. The uh, sinking continues all the way along. Here is probably the worst. I can fit my whole hand in there. Look at that. Okay, we've got the start of the sinkage here, as you can see. We've got the first little sinkage. All these cracks were caused. And those cracks on the wall, as you can see, the stirrups are starting to bend and have been cracked several times. One's bending that way, the other one's bending that way. Take one good look at our fence. Now, if you turn and take your attention to this brick wall here, as you can see, you can see how much it's sunk. I don't have to point it out. If you come to the edge here, you'll see that the wall is actually on a lean and very dangerous. Here's the second level of sinkage, which has actually been filled in a bit since the rain, so it doesn't look as bad, unfortunately, because the grass has grown. But as you can see, there's like a square, there's the line, and here's another hole forming right there. Sinkage, here's your level. There's the two and a half, three inches right there. This, when I moved in, was underground. Now look at it. They have claimed none of this is happening. Here's some brick damage here. And there's a big sinkhole starting to form right there. Oh, I know, long video. To continue to the middle, almost there. As you can see, the fence line has shifted rather dramatically when I first moved in here, all that was straight. Now it's, who knows. All right, we continue on. We continue on to this side. The walls in both flats are warped and can't be walked on. As you can see, the fences, the gates destroyed. The windows refuse to hold these anymore because the windows are so warped that these actually don't fit. 
we come move out to the back here. Unfortunately, the grass hasn't been shown here for a long time, but if you film here, you can see the shifting, the level of the shifting right there. That's how much the ground has shifted. Now when we originally moved in, when my wife originally moved in, this was a flat slab which we had that table on. As you can see, it has since sunk in a big circle. And that's what's left of the concrete slab. And water is now running under the house, unperturbed. All right, we're nearly done. Showing all the damage. Then we come to the coup de gras. All the piping is broke too. If you come here, here's an example. Here's an example right here. And my pipe on the other side has begun to start doing that as well, cracking and falling off. This is where the sinkhole was. As you can see, they filled it with bitumen, but they've kept it locked off. And if you walk on this ground here, it's very unsafe and lopsided. Hole there, hole here. There's no straight part anymore. And then there's the fence line, as you can see. And that's about it. Uh, it will be a separate video for the inside but I hope you see this and realize that it's three and a half years of neglect that has caused this and if they fix it the second I reported it none of this would have happened